Hi everyone, how are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit windy outside and it's hot and it's humid. And so <laughs> this is what you're gonna get. Okay, I uh, just got off of work and um, wanna let you know that we have got a full moon eclipse in Capricorn coming up. This is going to be significant. All right, remember what I said about when Saturn returns to Capricorn, arrests, indictments, re-establishment of order. You're already seeing it. This is the type of energy that we have to watch out for. It's very important at this time, anything law-related, anything speeding, driving under the influence, whatever, don't do it. Don't do it, okay? Saturn is going retrograde. Basically what that means is you are going to get in trouble or someone is going to get in trouble, but it is not going to be to the extremes that perhaps it has been in the past. So basically, you'll get pulled over, the cop is going to be really super nice, you're going to be really super nice and go on your merry way. Instead of you getting pulled over, screaming and yelling at the cop and telling the cop that he's a freaking so-and-so. All right, there's not going to be that type of energy. Now, if there has been some bubbling energy underneath that um, needs to get out and needs to be exposed, Saturn will make sure that it gets exposed in whatever house this makes sense for you. This is where karma is delivered, okay? Once we get to September 1st, mark the date, September 1st, that is when immense karma, that is karma that people have been waiting for, karma that people have been desiring be levied upon those who have done injustice to others. That is what this is, okay? And these are open injustices. These aren't hidden injustices. These aren't slights, people saying, oh, you're this or you're that. It's not about that. This is stuff that is deep, deep. Like we're talking criminals that have gotten away with stuff forever and ever and ever, and they are gonna be put on trial. Please remember that once September 1st is here, okay, and, and now between that time, anything that you could do that would please Saturn, okay, Saturn is like the patriarch, right? So in this particular case, Saturn has the energy of the patriarch, the dad, okay? The father figure, get the dishes done, do your homework, all of that. You have to somehow impress upon Saturn that you are a responsible individual. And in order to do that, you must find something significant in your life that Saturn will look at it and say, all right, yeah, yeah, okay, good job. Add a girl, add a boy, all right? That's my girl, that's my boy. Proud papa, that's what you want. You want that energy there. That is my advice for you, and I guarantee you, if you do that and you don't come from a selfish place, you do it because it's your responsibility, not because it's your desire, you, you're selfish about it. It's out of responsibility. If you do that, okay, then you will be rewarded tenfold, twentyfold, thirtyfold. Okay, so for me, my uh, Saturn return in my natal chart, so my rising sign, it's my eighth house. Joint finances, intimacy, okay? Um, um, the death, the rebirth cycle, um, um, what else do we have here? Okay, yeah, Scorpio. So it's going to be investigations, digging into things, researching things, uncovering that which needs to be uncovered. That is where my Saturn is, and that is what I need to do. It also is in my 11th house because I'm a Pisces sun and a Pisces moon. So basically what that is, is that is my 11th house of hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, and associations. There's something here that Saturn needs for me to be responsible with. And so that is what I have to put forward. Not to mention my Jupiter is in Saturn. If, and if that is not, or my Jupiter is in Capricorn. And if that is not me, to a T. I don't know what it is. But anyway, constantly working, constantly going, constantly juggling, constantly like all the time. Okay. I have to be productive on top of the fact that I'm a Gemini rising. All right. Enough of that. But I want to impress upon you how important it is to abide by the rules. Abide by the rules. The karma is coming. They already know who's guilty and who's not guilty. Trust me. Okay. It's been getting gathered since he went retrograde. Okay. Be prepared, as well as when he already went through Capricorn. What is about to happen will probably make people's jaws drop. 
We are going to get right into it. I also heard today that Gisley Maxwell got arrested in New Hampshire. Let's see what happens with that. Also here, she's going to the same, uh, the same uh, prison that uh, Epstein went to. How convenient. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. You guys can take from that what you will. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The full moon eclipse in Capricorn is on July 4th, 2020 at 11.44 p.m. Central Standard Time at 13 degrees. What I find so interesting is that Epstein was a Capricorn. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, at approximately four days before and up to six months after this full moon, massive endings, culminations, or things that need to be addressed will be present. This will generally deal with the aspects of Capricorn relative to banks, commitment, diligence, depression, hierarchies, patriarchy, and or boundaries. Since the sun is in the sign of cancer, the life force energy is based in the family and the home. Now, I find it interesting that the timing of this is at 1144. 11 is all about twin flame energy. It's all about new beginnings. It's about walking that new path, going into that new path. And the 44 is all about stability and strength, power through stability. Okay, that's the energy we're dealing with. So again, this energy, this Saturn energy, I mean, like he's literally going back over the lay of the land. Like he's backing up. Have you ever been, have you ever had a dad? Maybe you haven't had a dad like this. I've, I, I have had a dad like this, but I'm just going to give you an example. A dad that's just going along, doing his own thing, doing, doing his, you know, whatever. He's mowing the grass or he's going to work or, or whatever. And then he hears through the phone, the mom calls, whatever, or the sister or the brother. Dad, dad. You're not going to believe what happened. So-and-so is doing this and so-and-so is doing that. Da -da 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 -da. And, and he's like, that's it. I'm coming home. Click. Literally backs up. We'll drive for hours to get back home just to discipline the child and catch him in the act. That is a Capricorn type of energy. Capricorns generally don't tolerate, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Like uh, disobedience. They, they don't tolerate that very well. Uh, Capricorn rules uh, the military. Capricorn rules the police. Saturn rules military. Saturn rules the police. Mars also does as well. So I we just want to make you aware of that. He's going back into Capricorn. He's going back into his house. Now, he is also in his house in Aquarius, but Capricorn is where he is at home. Capricorn is where he wants to be. It's where his power resides. It's where he can levy the blessings as well as the punishment. Okay, that's what I wanted to tell you. So within this eclipse resides the Pluto and Jupiter conjunction. In addition, Saturn returns to Capricorn in retrograde. Saturn, the planet of karma and time, heads back around and retraces his steps and is gathering info. A lot of info. The sign of Capricorn is a sign that rules leadership and it's the commander energy. This is generally shared with other signs such as Leos and sometimes Aries. But this is a very interesting backtrack. So let's visit this energy now. So what happened right around February 1st, 2020 to May 21st of 2020? Gee, I can think of something. So uh, strap on your protective headgear because Saturn retrograde return to Capricorn is hiding his findings as he gathers and formats information until September 30th of 2020. In fact, actual Capricorns may be gathering significant intel or information in order to present the findings at this time. However, some things may be revealed when Saturn slows to turn direct once again. This is when Saturn is most potent. It is not the day that he goes direct or goes retrograde. It's the day where he stands still. It's when he slows down for a period of what seems almost 29 days. This is when he is just, it is just going to be off the charts. So this is when the karma stings and it keeps on stinging. But for some, the karma will be oh so sweet. The range of karma to be delivered starts on September 1st of 2020 and lasts until September 30th of 2020, perhaps even after that. Why are we talking about Saturn when it's a full moon in Capricorn at 13 degrees? 
Well, the full moon in Capricorn at 13 degrees is hosting a returning Saturn and a Pluto-Jupiter conjunction, as I've stated. This eclipse means that Capricorn people or characteristics are being suspended until approximately September 1st, 2020. At this time, karma that stopped will now start up again. You see, when Saturn retrogrades, time just stops. Everything feels as if it is in slow motion. And the thing is, especially when Saturn retrogrades into Capricorn, that is when time stops. And I will tell you something which I found fascinating. Going about my business in my living room, I look up at my clock two days before Saturn enters Capricorn. My clock died. It just stopped. Couldn't even believe it. And I just saw that today. I mean, I'm serious. This stuff, when things manifest in my I'm telling you, I feel it, something fierce. When I get connected, I feel it, all right? And a lot of you know I feel it. And I'm so grateful for those of you that identify with this energy and you know the truth when you hear it. Because I'm not here to, you know, basically, you know, uh, blow rainbows up everybody's rear end. That's not the type of person I am. I'm here to give you the truth, the energy that's coming out that you need to be aware of, okay? So... For the Capricorns out there that had their lives suspended into slow motion or mired in no motion, your ruler is yelling, all aboard. This is when the wait is over and order will be restored. The full moon eclipse and the retrograding Saturn is actually protecting the hardworking and innocent Cappies. Whether the Caps liked it or not, they needed this time to get the gumption to jump out of the status quo. Capricorns activate. Just like the Wonder Twins. Why is this so important? Capricorn is a cardinal sign that rules the rules. When they are weak, well, Capricorns will follow the rules. At least many Caps do. Not all, but many Caps do. When they are weak, but they are reticent to force the change on themselves, this is when they get into that swirling eddy of problematic issues all around them. Okay? Capricorns love that status quo. They love that comfort area. They love just doing their thing, okay? Sure, they want everybody to be happy. Sure, they'll help everybody else. Sure, they'll be a great friend, but they don't want to really rock the boat too much. They just don't have much of a, much of a desire to create a lot of change to, to challenge the status quo. Now, some Capricorns do, and when I talk about these signs, I want to let you know that not all Cappies are going to be like this. The majority of Cappies are likely to be like this, okay? So be aware. They rule the rules. So they'll require others to follow the rules, but they will only follow the rules in order to keep the status quo for themselves, okay? They don't, they don't cause much of a ruckus, okay? So when they get used to that status quo, they say, just don't rock my boat so I can maintain my peace and calm. But when those rules that they have had adhered to turn against them, watch out. See, this is where they get stuck. They're so mired in the rules and you've got to follow this and you've got to do this. And step one is this, step two is this, step three is this. And that's fine. And that's great. But when it comes to a more philosophical approach to the rules, when it comes to belief system that they create rules around, and yes, they do, Capricorns have belief systems that they actually create their own set of rules around. I'm a Jupiter and Capricorn. I'm going to tell you that right now. It happens. So when they adhere to those rules, like, you know, if I break up with somebody, I'm always going to be friends with them. I'm always going to be kind with them. I'm always going to, you know, show them, you know, uh, kindness and, and support. You know, even if, even if they call five years later and they want a couple hundred bucks, I'll give them a couple hundred bucks. That's how they, but what they've realized, those rules are now turning against them. That's what. That's why this time was needed with all the, the Pluto and the Jupiter and the Saturn and then going into Aquarius and then coming back into Capricorn. That's what this was. They had to be jostled out of their status quo. They had to look at their rules in their head. And they're realizing that some of these rules that they've adhered to just don't work. Loyalty rules, Capricorns, can I get an amen? Loyalty to people that don't deserve your loyalty? Aha, here we go. You're getting jostled right on out of it. And everyone is going through that energy in the houses that I will name 
as we move down into each individual sign. The other thing I want everyone to be aware of, when I do this preemptive reading, all of that energy goes into the house where you will be activated. Okay, sometimes when I read those particular elements, I will get a download. I will talk about the download. So I don't want to hear about anybody saying, you shorted Sagittarius, or you shorted Pisces, or you shorted this. I'm not shorting anybody. This is practically another full-time job for me. I have to give you this information. This was my agreement. I have to give you this information. All right? So be aware of what I say, especially in the preface before we get into your houses. That's where you're going to feel the energy. Trust me. Okay? Because this is a very, very strong, strong energy. Saturn is back in his ruling home. He's in Capricorn and he's pissed. All right? He's ready to dole out the punishment or the rewards, okay? And usually it's going to be both. And why do I say that? Because Jupiter is also in orb, okay? So basically what that means is that there has to be righteous indignation. There has to be balance of the punishment and the uh, reward. Usually what will happen when when um, Jupiter is close to Saturn and, and Saturn is in its home sign of Capricorn, that it will be a winner and a loser. Two people, two groups, you will be rewarded and you will be punished for punishing these other people. That is kind of the energy that we're going to be feeling here. So just to let you guys know. Okay, so the rules that these Capricorns have, had, have adhered to, say that 10 times, have adhered to will turn against them. So you better watch out. So Capricorns are like, what? That philosophy has always worked for me. What? It is now destroying me? Hell nah. It's time for a rule change or a thought change. That is what the Caps are doing. They're being wo awoken, awakened out of their stupor. Okay? It was the Caps that had to be activated this whole time. This whole time, it is the Caps that had to be activated. Capricorns, are you activated? Are you ready to activate? Are you ready to move forward with your diligence, with your perseverance? Go up that mountain and make a difference. This is the energy that all of us have been waiting for. So these wonderful goats are now in their lab room, pulling together all sorts of intel and info to change the status quo and restore order once and for all. They just had to get pissed off enough and uncomfortable enough to distract them from their comfort zones. Cappies, can I get an amen? This full moon is all about the reinstatement of foundations and foundational principles. This will happen slowly over time. It starts on the 3rd of July. That's tomorrow. Great news regarding foundation stability and money will start trickling in. The masculine is now meeting the feminine on the same field. The rational meets the irrational. This is the time everything starts to make sense. However, you won't see major manifestations until the 1st of September. To be honest, no one is safe. Saturn will be pissed. The feminine cancer isn't too happy either with the sun in her sign. This is where the frustration of the feminine meets the frustration of the masculine. They're opposing each other right now. They're both upset. They've both been jostled like this. Now they must and they will work together on an even keel to create solutions. By the time Saturn hits Aquarius again, which is December 20th of 2020, the sun will only be in Sag for two days. Two days. And then it moves into Capricorn. Meaning, meaning, the sun is going to be in Capricorn and Saturn is going to be in Aquarius. They're going to be at almost the same degree. Okay, so watch out for that day, for sure. November 25th of 2020 through the end of the year, Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter will be traveling conjunct with a 2 to 5 degree orb. That is why this full moon is so important. So what should you do with this energy? Well, get ready to build. Build unlike you have ever built before. Build, build, build. Let go of the fear energy as this will bring the collective down. Make the plans now. Reinvent and reinforce. Laziness will need to be banished 
and a massive activation of the collective will happen due to a swift kick in the behind, courtesy of the Capricorn full moon. This will feel like a very live or die type of energy. Are the semantics being thrown out of the window? Is the individual identity being sacrificed for the good of all? Any energy that divides will not be tolerated, but toleration is, or tolerance is needed in order to restore a, a strong foundation. So it's interesting, it's all juxtaposed how this energy is coming out, all right? Also be aware anytime um, Saturn is in Capricorn, reversed or direct, suicide, 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 suicide. I'm telling you, they, Capricorn, or Capricorn rules depression. Saturn rules, you know, the repression, the suppression, the oppression. That's what happens if, if Capricorns get really mired down in old thoughts and they can't let them go. They can hit depression very easily. Okay. So this is, and, and actually anybody with Saturn and Capricorn can hit uh, depression very, very easily as well. If that's in your birth chart. So be aware of that. Anything related to commitment, money, bank, stoicism, diligence, patriarchy, or hierarchy will be questioned or highlighted. People may not know it, but accountability will be forced and required. Is this another awakening of the other sleeping giant? We will see. Do you want to call Congress and tell them to get back to work? Voice your concerns? Demand answers? Well, the number is in the description box below. I am calling as soon as I am done with this video, just letting you know. So what do we know about Capricorns, at least the majority of the Capricorns? So the good aspects, they are loyal, the ultimate patriarch, they are usually some of the best dads out there, desire to succeed, patience to succeed, very even-tempered, rational, calculating, persevering. They do tend to reverse age and this tends to be less likely if they have a Leo sun, moon, or rising because Leos are the ones that age the most, the fastest, and the quickest. Um, Hardworking, and they love the rules, okay? They, they are the rulers of the rules. Now, the not-so-good aspects, they can be selfish, materialistic, easily falls into depression, controlling, dismissive, creates their own rules based on their own benefit and their own philosophy. They marry for money or connections. They actually live and breathe to create money and connections because to them, it's like air, okay? For many of them, not all of them, but for many of them. So where will the ending culmination or eclipse be for you? If you have any natal planet, sun, or moon between eight to 18 degrees of Capricorn, you will likely be significantly affected by this energy. Everything I just talked about will likely manifest for you in the following houses for the rising sun, moon signs, or any planet in Capricorn between eight to 18 degrees. Like I just said, I don't know why it's here twice. Maybe I'm just repeating myself. Use the positive aspects of Capricorn. If you use the negative aspects of Capricorn, Saturn will set you straight almost immediately. So let's get into the beautiful Cappies. Capricorn, your first house of identity will be eclipsed or greatly modified. If you have lived a lie or if you are being someone other than who you claim to be, Universe is coming in and giving you a wake-up call. It is time for integrity, Capricorn. If you are doing any research or reevaluating your identity in a low-key way and with integrity, you will see massive positive results by September 1st of 2020. You may also be more interested in taking care of your body and your appearance. An Aries person may figure in as well. Aquarius, for you, your 12th house of the past, the hidden research, hospitals, institutions, psychic abilities, sacrifice, or even Pisces people will go through this energy. Does something from the past need to be addressed once and for all? Yep. Utilize positive characteristics of Capricorn to bring about the results that you want. If you shove it under the carpet, it will come back to haunt in a way that is very uncomfortable. Pisces, for you, your 11th house of hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, and associations, or Aquarius people will go through this energy. How can you utilize the positive traits of Capricorn to create the following or manifest your dreams? Hard work? Yep, it's time to get serious and leave the airy fairy Pisces in the rear view mirror. Work it, girl, or boy, I guess. I'm like, work it, girl. <laughs> That's, I don't know. That's just what I got. Aries, your 10th house of status and career or Capricorn people will go through this transformational energy. 
There's a need to build something from scratch with meticulous attention to detail and perseverance. How can you use the positive aspects of Capricorn to assist you in addressing or culminating something in your career or status house? Dedication? Yes. Do not be selfish as this will not turn out well for you. Taurus, for you, your ninth house of legal law, people, politics, the occult, travel, foreign people in foreign lands, higher education, or Sagittarius people will be affected by this energy. How can you use the positive aspects of Capricorn to assist you in these areas? Discernment and rationality? Yep. Do not be dismissive. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. The punishment must fit the crime. Gemini, your eighth house of joint finances, intimacy, jealousy, revenge, sex, death, and rebirth, and even Scorpio people will be affected by this energy. How can you use the positive aspects of Capricorn to address or finalize this area of life for you? Commitment, rationality, even tempered. Yep. Breakups or massive fights will commence if you do not use your rational mind and your even temperedness. Don't get depressed or blame others. Just move forward. Cancers. Your seventh house of business and romantic partnerships, fairness, justice, or even Libra people will cause or will be affected by this energy. How can you regain balance in your life utilizing the positive aspects of Capricorn? Rational, love of the rules, fairness. Yep. If not, Saturn is watching. Actually, Saturn has been watching you for a while. If you have not been fair or if you have stolen from someone, Saturn will return the favor in September in spades. Good luck. Leo, your sixth house of health, well-being, reputation, paying attention to the details, and even Virgo people will cause or will be affected by this energy. What do you need to do in order to address or finalize something in this area of your life? Diligence, hard work, discernment? Yep. If you have been slacking, Saturn will wake you up post haste. Get moving, Leo. Virgo, your fifth house of children, creativity, romance, and Leos and risk-taking is being affected here. Were you fair, Virgo, or did you steal or lie or bend the rules in this area? Whatever you did that was unfair in the past will come back to haunt in a way that will hurt. However, if you were diligent, patient, loyal, and a good example to children, Saturn will reward you. Libra, your fourth house of home, family, the physical domicile, ancestry will cause or will be affected by this energy from the full moon. What positive aspects of Capricorn can you use to help you address or finalize something in this area? Even-tempered? Calculating? Rational? Yep. Yeah. It truly is time for a rebalance of the scales, Libra. If you are off balance, you need to find the balance post-haste. Be as fair as possible, for if you are not, well, karma does not lose a phone number. Scorpio, for you, your third house of communication, social media, siblings, contracts, negotiations, short distance travel, or even Gemini people will cause or will be affected by this energy. How can you utilize the positive aspects of Capricorn in order to finalize or address something in this area of your life? Even-tempered? Rational? Or following the rules? Yep. If you don't expect complications, negative energies will boomerang right back at you. Okay? You've got to be prepared for this, okay? Make sure you're not complicating things. Sagittarius, your second house of money you make from the company you work for or the company you own, possessions, self-value, or even tourist people, will cause or will be affected by this energy, even real estate. How can you use the positive aspects of Capricorn in order to finalize or address something in this area? Desire and patience to succeed? Yep. Do not use controlling tactics. What comes back around will cause issues for a long time. Desire, patience, and diligence will be rewarded. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there is your reading for the full moon eclipse in Capricorn. I want you to be very prepared for what we all need to be prepared for. Order and justice and uh, reestablishing boundaries must be pushed forward, and it will be pushed forward, whether people like it or not, okay? There's going to be a knock them out drag them out fight because Saturn has returned. The kids have been unruly that you guys have heard my Capricorn spiel before, many times. It's when the Capricorn parents leave and they call ahead of time and they're like, hey, we're leaving, watch the house, no parties. And then all of a sudden they're at their freaking vacation getaway, the neighbor calls and says, hey, you, you got a massive freaking party over there, man. I mean, I'm just letting you know. 
Capricorn parents like, we're cutting it a day short and we're not even telling them we're coming home. When they walk in, there's something about Capricorns that love catching people in, um, in the act. They, they love the ability to put forth the rules and to establish the rules, okay? To get people to understand responsibility and accountability. That's the energy that we're going to be feeling with this. But it is suspended. Now, what do I mean by that? We're in an eclipse. It's under the surface. You're going to see it in snippets and little trickles here and there. But I'm telling you, once we hit September 1st, that is when everything is going to hit the fan. Guaranteed. All right. I wish everybody the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.